Hello guys, this is Herman again, in order just my view, and as you guys can see, I have right here my rig, and well, I'm gonna show you something very interesting for some of you guys that probably you guys would like to have some of those RGB fans, but you guys can't have it because are very expensive, and also probably your fan is working very good, and you don't wanna replace it at the moment. Well, guys, Guess what? I got these Fantex Halo frames and we are going to install these guys that include this amazing RGB light on it. Well guys, let's go and do this right now. Alright guys, well here we are and as you guys can see, well this is the computer, but before we start doing this, I'm gonna show you guys the uh, stuff I'm using right here. And for that reason, I wanna show you this lamp I got right here, you know, this is something that you guys can put in your head. And honestly, I did a review in this guy uh, some time ago, you guys check my videos, probably you guys gonna be able to see it. Um, uh, it's a very very short video I'm gonna put the links down below but honestly I have these guys for a few times right now probably uh, more than a year and uh, when I bought it I got two two of these for the price of one and let me tell you something these guys are they are a life life saver uh, the battery time of this is around four to five hours and they work very very good let me show you guys right there let me look at the lights it's very very strong and you got different uh, tones and look at this this is super super strong it's, this is super strong uh, that one right there softer this is a daylight and that's one of the the ones I like because you guys can go and see every detail in the computer and basically that's this is the light I'm going to use we got uh, we are going to remove the fan right there in front of this one uh, let me show you guys right here I got the original fan that came with the uh, Fantec uh, tower and right here we got another one uh, 120 millimeters that I installed later on and this is a, a, a not to a fan well we, going to, we are going to put one of these uh, halo frames and also well uh, beside this uh, nice uh, uh, light we got right here that I'm gonna put the links down below and I recommend honestly to use this because I've been using this for uh, quite some time. This uh, light use a regular charger for the, uh, not the uh, C charger, but the, the older one. But got a, a sensor movement. You guys can use your hand and stop the lights like this one. Let me show you guys right here. You guys see if I put my hand, look at that, goes on and off. It means you guys can turn it off the light at any time. And well, let's go here for the main thing is this uh, fan right here. This is 120 millimeters and this is in uh, this package right here. You guys can see it. I'm going to put the links down below, down below. And they are very, very cheap. It's like a six, nine dollars, something like that. That's the price I pay. Um, and they are very very good and it looks amazing probably if you guys check my video when I build up this computer you guys will see uh, how it looks like and it looks very awesome you know uh, honestly I like it you know uh, you don't have to spend uh, the whole price especially if you like the, the Noctua's I love the Noctua fans and I don't want to replace them for any other brand and well also right here I got these tools that I bought and I think the price was very very good got all the tools you need for your computer and for else you guys can use this to remove any screw like let me show you right here you guys can see those screws right there well this little one right here you can do anything with these guys right here you got the tools you got a magnet uh, uh, magnet those uh, magnetic uh, sheets that you can put all the screws and stuff like that in order to hold it while while you are working on your computer also this guy this uh, screwdriver is very very strong and I'm gonna show you guys how this thing works and let me show you right here you right here you guys can release it and you know you guys can extend 
really really nice and this is magnetic Re have a really really strong magnet and you know for the price you know I know some guys recommend some other brands very very famous brands but you know if you know if you cannot pay for something very expensive but something that is cheaper works well th there you have it right here I think this thing is not not even 20 20 dollars I'm gonna check it out uh, I'm gonna put the link down below and also something we need and you guys gotta keep all the time in your new builds or any build you guys need this is air and uh, you know this bottle you guys can have it anywhere you go I'm gonna put a link for uh, some kind of bottles right there I I got on uh, Amazon I'm gonna put the links of those bottles if you guys want to use my link to buy that uh, for your computer uh, but that's something we need and you know usually I use a uh, rug just to clean up well this one got the advantage I can remove this but when I have some dots in the computer like uh, I don't know if you guys can notice right here something like that after I blow it you are not gonna be able to remove those those things but you know with a you know with this um, um, fiber uh, towel you guys can remove it the dust and everything and you guys can clean uh, your computer that's the secret uh, in order to keep the computer uh, also let me open it right here and we're gonna remove these screws and first thing we're gonna put this away as you guys see this uh, with this uh, blowers basically you can once in a while you guys can clean up you know if you guys got a good computer this area is right there you guys can put a towel make sure you uh, touch the metal and remove all the electricity before you touch anything make sure you don't got any electrostatic because you can um, screwed up any component um, you know it's better uh, uh, you know be cautious uh, instead of uh, change something <laughs> that's funny right this is all the uh, stuff that passed through <laughs> through this uh, case I got a, a i7 before and I leave it and then uh, I got uh, the i9 and then I went back to the i7 <laughs> and well this is the Noctua friends I like this Look at that, man. This is nice. This is like metal, and I like this is some kind of a like a rewards, <laughs> you know. But well, let's go and remove that fan and let's start the installation. All right, well, for all you guys that have this uh, specific box that I'm gonna put the links down below too, um, for all you guys having this uh, case from Fantex, uh, you guys first remove the front, you grab it from the side and push to you, towards you, and then get the top now um you guys gotta remove also the uh, uh filter from the bottom and well this is the fan uh this is the uh, one that came with the uh, uh fan tech and as you guys can see right here in this one i installed this um this uh, frame also and as you guys see the size of this one is is bigger uh, i didn't change this one for the fan techs, honestly I love uh, Fantec, but this one eh, is working fine and it's okay. As soon as it fails, I'm gonna replace it for uh, replace it for the uh, uh, Noctua. But well, I'm gonna remove this this guy right here because so far I got only a, a, a frame right there. Okay, let's go and remove that. Remove these four screws and let's go and do the job. Okay, as you guys can see, I just removed the side panel of my computer and the only thing I have to do is put the frames right in front of each of these guys, screw it up, then manage the cable around here somewhere and look for a connector for my RGB lights. Let me see, this one is, okay. There you have it, right here. I put some tape around there, you know, in order to keep it more protected and right here that's the one I'm gonna use and this one got a, a daisy chain and it's gonna be easy let me show you right here this one you guys can see uh, this is the daisy chain right here you just plug it right here and you guys can install another one right here and with this one I'm gonna connect this other guy and that's it I'm gonna have room for modify one okay let's go install this show you how this, how this looks like and let's go and light it up
okay and as you guys can see well super easy you can see any difference uh, but there you have it right here there we are very nice clean installation maybe what 10 minutes is, is taking I think the video is longer than you know and you know I got the good thing I can camouflage uh, these wires over here and like I told you if you guys see a bunch of tape right here well it's something that uh, not everybody does but you know I like to cover anything that is exposed or any uh, uh, connection uh, that you know I know got some kind of electricity some 12 volts 5 volts whatever I don't care I do prefer to cover it and just use this connector right here as you guys see is right here and the rest of the wire is uh, hiding right here in this frame I'm gonna install this set it up turn it on and see how it looks like let's go and do that right now guys <laughs> we